This video is, you guessed it, brought to you by Paperlike. Though iOS 14 is arguably a huge update in the realm of Apple devices, iPadOS 14, while it has many of the same new features, doesn't have the same gravity that iPadOS 13 did because that was a huge iPad overhaul. You know, that was the first time iPad got its own distinct operating system. And this year, with iPadOS 14, we just get a couple new features and design changes. However, there is one feature that I think is super noteworthy and very important in the way that you interact with your iPad, particularly with Apple Pencil. And I really wish that this was around back a year ago when I just had my iPad and Apple Pencil and no keyboard input. But before we get into why this feature is so important, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, I'd also appreciate it if you click the bell icon and enable all notifications as it does help the channel out a lot. While iPadOS is its own operating system, of course, it shares so many of the characteristics and features found in iOS, particularly iOS 14, like the widgets here, they've been brought over, although this sort of widget area has been around since iPadOS 13. And then obviously other iOS 14 features have been baked in here as well, specifically in regard to security. Although I will say two new things that are unique to iPadOS include a more universal search. This is very much like what you'd find on a Mac, um, which is pretty cool. So you can search your entire device. And then um, a sidebar has been brought into a couple apps like photos here to make it more like a Mac experience here sort of similar to what's been with files and I will say the files app does look more mature but there's one feature that I actually care about and it has to do with the Apple Pencil and it's called Scribble and it makes up a couple features actually. First up, you can now write in text fields so I can actually search something like Spotify for example, even though it's right here so I can handwrite that right here and then it will convert my handwriting to text and I can actually pull something up although it didn't pull it up for some weird reason. Probably just a beta bug but anyway, let's see if it'll do it again. So here we go, I can pull up Spotify and there we go. And this feature works in other apps as well. So I can search for example, I don't know another song like, uh, let me think um, Imperial March. Let's see if this works with my horrible handwriting. There we go. So I can search up the Imperial March and play that although it is copyrighted and I won't. You can also do this in YouTube. So I'll search up a YouTuber like, you know, Marquez. There we go, Brownlee, and here we go. I searched this up, and this is something I wish I had when I had my iPad Pro 11 inch that I could barely afford and I couldn't buy like a keyboard case or a smart keyboard case because I really didn't have the money for it. You know, I opted for the Apple Pencil because obviously that's the more fun accessory for handwriting and stuff like that. So the fact that this exists is just super cool. The ability to respond to texts and make, you know, web searches and just search for anything with your Apple Pencil and only your Apple Pencil. Apple was like, people love the Apple Pencil and they don't want to put it down, and this will enable you to do that. The other new Scribble or Apple Pencil features can be demonstrated in notes here. So I can do some handwriting, for example, so I can write, uh, you know, hello, my name is Noah and I'm shooting a video. Let's try to make that a little bit more legible here. So what I can do is, and I don't know how perfect this is gonna translate, I can select this handwriting right here and watch as it will detect that this is handwriting. So it'll sort of form to it. So at some point, there we go, it did it. This is a beta, so it's probably gonna take a little bit longer here. And I can actually copy this as text. And we can see just how well iPadOS, you know, translated it here by, you know, pasting it into the search bar here. So I can do paste. So it wasn't perfect, it botched my name, but it got everything else right. Hello, my name is Hotch and I'm shooting a video. So cool. It doesn't recognize my name, but for the most part, it recognizes my messy handwriting, which is really awesome. So if you take handwritten notes in the Notes app or really any other app, I assume this feature is gonna be brought over to Good Notes, Notability, and other apps where you can handwrite. You can actually copy what you've written because you know iPadOS can now recognize your handwriting as real text. So that's super dope here. Another scribble feature has to do with drawing more perfect shapes or more rigid shapes. So if you draw a circle, for example, and you hold down, it will translate to a you know better looking circle sort of like good notes can do and I think notability can do the same thing as well same thing goes for squares and rectangles I tried hexagons it wasn't working out but I'll try it again here so I'll do like you know like a stop sign or whatever maybe this is eight sides I can't count yeah it didn't work I'll try it again here let's see just how so it just turned into a circle so for right now it's squares triangles 
and rectangles and circles but yeah that's a nice feature here but um yeah ultimately this is the feature that i'm the most excited about this is a brief video kind of showcasing that but yeah i wish i would have had this you know during my first semester of college where i did not have a keyboard case with my ipad pro i just had a folio and whatever and i sort of live with the fact that i had to use the virtual keyboard which is of course decent but not my favorite but now that you can actually hand write in text fields that's super amazing and i am positive being able to translate handwritten text to actual copyable text is going to change the way I take notes in college. And before we wrap up this video, I want to mention today's video sponsor, Paperlike. Surprise, surprise, you know, you guys should expect this by now. If there is a relevant iPad video, these guys are going to reach out to me and want me to showcase their product here. And I'm more than happy to because this is something I use on a daily basis with my daily driver, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, which I have actually not installed the beta on here because I want it to be stable because I'm always, you know, handwriting notes and stuff on here and if I can fit this into the frame here as you can see I have this sort of matte screen protector on here which totally changes the way the surface of this iPad feels for note taking especially here and I love that because back then I was somebody who would take a lot of handwritten notes and composition notebooks and on paper with pen and I really wanted to bring that to college and of course you know consolidate all my notes in one place in good notes for example and during the summer here while I'm not in school I actually take notes or you know have like a planner to keep my day on track here so as you can see here I got WWDC I did that or I you know got that done I watched it oh I have to actually sync my pencil here because it was with my you know iPad Pro 11 inch so now that this is synced up I can check off what I did for the day so WWDC watch and record I got early coverage out I was gonna go to Best Buy I didn't and I did not call the CEO of Apple that had to do with some kind of extra charge um, I got for being a developer so I'll do that tomorrow as well but yeah this makes for a really nice paper like experience hence the name and um, yeah I just highly recommend getting one of these if you are somebody who is you know handwriting a lot or wants a paper like experience it's best in class and I will leave a link in the video description if you're interested and that about wraps things up here. I hope this video helped you out. Once again, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.